me. I thought he would start Jacob Murphy on on Saturday, and he went with Maxi, which was seemed to be the general consensus yeah, on social I, media. I, I saw you tweet that, and I, and I was going to ask you about that. So, do you think he should have started Murphy, or or do you just wanted him to start Murphy? I just thought he would have done because he offers a bit more uh, protection for for Dan Byrne. Um, and I don't think Maxi did anything on Saturday. I but, think I think that I think if I'm honest, I'd be very surprised if he starts the season, the new season at Newcastle United. I wonder whether, and again, this is just my my my, my view, whether there's been something where they've tried to coach him into more of the, the way Eddie Howe likes to play his team. So a little bit more discipline, a little more bit more defensive. And that's taken the flair slightly out of answer at Maxwell. Um, because he just looked a bit hesitant on Saturday. And I mean, the, there was some parts of the crowd as well. There was kind of an anticipation that whatever he was going to try wouldn't work. And every time he miscontrolled the ball or lost the ball, there were, there were groans and everyone's entitled to do that. But, it just seems, from my point of view, the love affair with Anse at Maximum has, has, has disappeared. It's died off. And I know Eddie Howe, you know, rejected the thought of, of getting rid of him. Anse at Maximum says he's proud to be here and he wants to play at Newcastle United. But, you know, neither side are going to come out and say, I want, I want, you know, yes, he can go or yes, I, I want to leave. I just think he's just he's just not done enough in the brief time he's had. I know people will say he's not had, he's not had enough time to show what he can do. But, the bigger picture is, does Anse at Maximum fit into an Eddie Howe side? And from what I'm watching, I don't think he does. I agree with what you're saying in that sense that I think Howe is trying to condition him into offering more defensively, trying to be more of a team player going forward. And I do think as a knock-on effect of that, Maxi has lost a bit of his flair, as you say. I think he is more, a bit more reluctant to you know, just take four or five players on as he used to be. But you know what it is? I, I felt like the response on social media after Saturday was really overblown for Maxi because he wasn't his best, but I think that's his first start in August. You know, and I don't want to keep going back to the excuse that he's still rusty, but people have been so impressed with him in the cameos recently and they've been itching from the start. And I think, you know, one average game and they're straight back on his fans, or on his back, sorry, he's the one. There's probably only Miggy in that team that is more of a confidence player than him. And when Newcastle United fans are getting on his back and saying, "Oh, well, you know, he's he's not the same player," there's no wonder that he that he's struggling. I think there's a long way to go between now and the end of the season, especially given you know Newcastle's injury record of recent months. I wouldn't be so sure that he leaves in the summer, but at the same time, I think he is running out of time to maybe save a spot in the team. But then Anthony Gordon comes on the pitch and does more in his. What was it? Twenty minutes or so. Then, then the St. Max managed to do all game. We had that wonderful pass to to Wilson, and and he just seemed to be driving it at them a little bit more. And look, I would love Anne St. Maxman to to come good and be back at the heights uh, that he was. Kind of the pre takeover, you know, after the takeover that Man City game earlier this season. As we always mention, Kyle Walker just could not handle them. But I just don't know. I just don't know if if it's made from. And, it, and and and, I, and you know fans, I think will be some fans will be devastated to hear that because Anson Maximum on his day will turn any fullback inside out. But for what Newcastle United and Eddie Howe want to achieve, is he the right player for Newcastle United? I, I just I just don't know. He's got. It comes down to the bottom line is he needs to take the chances. Yeah. He's, he, I think he probably will start against Bournemouth, and I think he'll probably start against Liverpool as well. And I think it's two massive weeks balance at maximum because then Bruno's back yeah. and then he's not in the side, is he? He has, to, he has to go out and seize that opportunity. Yeah, he does. And look, if he grasps this chance in the next two weeks, I'm sure a fan opinion will once again change on him. And and he just needs a couple of good games under his belt. He needs to refine that spot that he had at the start of the season. It's so, you know, it's quite worrying how it's just almost forgotten how good he was at the start of the season before he suffered those two injuries. He's done such good for the club over recent years and some really tricky times. So I personally for him hope that he can, you know, find his best form. 